Hey folks, so today we will talk about a quite interesting concept as usually and uh, for sure it's the sovereign data but it's special kind of data. So you all know about the big data and it was hype when I was the engineer on the start of my career because everybody was keen to do the big data and get insights and all the things, Hadoop, Mahout and all the stuff was everywhere. But uh, what about the small data? So small data it's not about the big tech, it's not about the complex pipelines, it's not about even the tech itself. So the small data focus on something that are special. So it's a brain friendly and human friendly set of data that you really care. So it's something that human could digest and made the meaning. And you know how many times you have that you download the tons of papers, scripts, millions of articles, and uh, you have the bunch of terabytes of everything that you're not able to get any benefit out of it because it's just in some point, it's just the info garbage. And quite often it's the, the full of noise. And you know, information, if you go to the theory of the information, you will learn a lot that the information and noise, they heavily correlate with each other and the problem that even available information sometimes in a different context could create the noise and uh, how to make the systems that help us to hear the music of ideas but not the noise of the internet and that's the challenge and uh, in this concept uh, the human uh, digestible uh, human brain friendly data that you could reason is a really big thing and it's a future thing and um, you know uh, first <coughs> quite interesting system that was offered as a good example of the small data was the uh, settle custom and uh, the lumens uh, sleeper box so it was managed by the bunch of the small cards uh, that uh, you just store in a box from the shoes that have a number and have the magic. And this magic was actually the connections between the cards that you digest information to small pieces that represent one single idea and then you start creating the connections between the idea. So uh, for the subtle customs, uh, maybe it could be different video that explain all the things but the main trick that it was curated data set that had the context of the person and it was made with the progressive and hierarchical summarization of the person itself so if you want to get the meaning of the data that have a value for you you should write these summaries by yourself then it's help you to better understand this but the problem is that this concept is super powerful it's really cool thinking of tool but it's not scalable and it's just limited on your capacity of the ability to read and the ability to write but what about the artificial intelligent agent that could do this progressive summarization for you but not just the summarization, the summarization task is um, uh, LLMs already capable to do it but what about the summarization of the agent that see the world with uh, your own eyes that knows your context, knows the context of the research that you currently doing and share your values and this one, the personal and uh, focused uh, assistant that could actually produce something that still have this curated data set that aligns with your views, your values and your beliefs is the mind blowing and actually it's uh, what we're currently doing on my current project with my team. So it's the, not a big data, it's a small data, an extended brain, but extended brain with your soul and your eyes. Uh, this is the challenge actually and it's a uh, game changer. So that's all that I was keen to share with you and see you next time.